Hi everyone, it's Ardeth, and today I'm excited to be part of a blog hop featuring Power Poppy stamps, along with some of the Yellen Hudson Design Ambassadors and a number of other amazing designers. The blog hop details are on my blog, so be sure to head over to check it out. There's prizes. I used this big beautiful daisy background called Big Sexy Blooms, and I did some spotlight stamping. I started by using my Misty and Catherine Pooler Twilight ink to stamp the whole stamp onto a panel of white cardstock. This ink is a soft grey, and it's even softer than usual because my ink pad needs to be refilled. I was happy to use it to get the nice soft colour, and I just made sure I had everything inked up evenly, and then I used lots of pressure on my Misty door so that it would be uniform in colour on the cardstock. And while I had the stamp on the Misty, I put another piece of white cardstock into it. And I re-inked that one big daisy near the bottom left corner with Gina K Amalgam ink in jet black. This is going to be my spotlight area. You can do spotlighting in different ways, and one option would have been to create a negative mask and stamp that area with black. But I used a layer method here so that I could also create a frame around the spotlighted daisy. I used the Amalgam ink so that I could color this area with Copic markers. My plan was that the majority of the colour pop would be in the frame around the spotlight area, so I kept the daisies traditional, white with a yellow centre. I used three shades of yellow Copics and then some toner greys to add dimension and shadows to the white petals. This stamp is very detailed and has shading built right into the design, so it's not difficult to figure out where to deepen the shadows by adding a bit of grey. Then I added some aqua to the background between the flowers to make the white petals really pop. I added a deeper tone just right around the edges of the petals to give some shadows and dimension. And then I added a fourth yellow to the daisy center to add some more contrast and punch it up a bit. I used a circle die to trim around the daisy. I positioned it and secured it with purple tape before running it through my Gemini Junior. And then to create the frame, I used the same circle die, along with two in bigger sizes, and I lined them up on another piece of white cardstock. I tried really hard to get them perfectly spaced, but it's tricky. And even when I got them where I wanted them, they moved when I added tape. In the end, they were close enough, and I ran them through my Gemini Junior as well. I used the same aqua marker to color one of the frames, and then a deep periwinkle blue to color the other. I love this combination. It has a real 80s vibe, I think. Next, I started assembling the card. I cut a circle from some scrap paper to act as a base for my frames and flower, and I coated the whole thing with adhesive. Then I flipped the two frames over and I laid the base down on top so that I knew I had good placement. Then I flipped it back over and I put the flower into the frames. There's still an overhang of that scrap paper, but I used a rectangle die to trim it down, as well as the background panel. To add a sentiment, I placed my panel into my mini Misty and I positioned the spotlight area where it would sit. I took out a block sentiment from Strong and Beautiful and I stamped it in the top right corner with the amalgam ink. I used this ink because it's Copic friendly and I wanted to colour in the outline letters so that they would stand out better against the stamp background. I rarely use my pure black Copic marker. Generally, dark greys work well enough when colouring black areas on a stamped image, but this time I really wanted it as crisp and dark as possible. It took me a few minutes and some care so that I didn't over-colour and fill in the letter centres, but I figured even if I did, it would be okay. I like the look of those filled in letters. To finish off my design, I added some pretty pink posh jewels in matching colours, using some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and a jewel picker. I put them around the sentiment to draw the eye to it by continuing the frame colours across the panel. To finish the card, I just adhered the whole thing to an Oyster card base. Spotlighting is a great way to use busy stamps like this to create a card that is clean and simple, but still has impact. Don't forget to head to my blog to check out the list of participants, and hop along and comment for a chance to win. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below, and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Product links are below in the description and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.